right, we're here watching the updated trailer for the Sonic movie. I personally didn't have an issue with the first version, but whatever. What are you talking about? The entire internet hated it, and I think it's pretty obvious why. The first trailer didn't have tails in it. I'm sure they fixed it in this one. Let's watch. I'm Sonic. Still not a fan of this voice. Where's the gravel? Okay, Green Hill Zone. I should be flying in here any second now. Okay, or not. That happened to me once, remember? Uh, do you mean when you cleaned Eggman's toilet and it got covered in shit? Is Flash pornography? That's a lot of pornography. You seem to be alone a lot so far. I'm sure I come in soon to rescue you from this loneliness. Uh, uh, I much prefer to play with myself, thank you. Not baseball. I mean genital stuff. Yeah, thanks for clarifying that. I guess they're saving my reveal for later, or... Okay, here comes Tails to save Sonic from Big Brother. Ow! Fuck, it's still Marsden. Yeah, Marsden! Best sidekick a guy could ask for. Hey, what are you dipshits watching? New Sonic trailer. The new what now? It's the trailer for the new Sonic movie. Oh my god, stop talking. You made a Sonic movie? No, not us. It was... <gasps> oh my god, that's me! No, that's Canadian legend James Cameron. Nope, that's totally my slim figure. Ew, Sonic, is that you? You look hideous! Where's your beady little eyes and all your individual teeth and gums? Okay, road trip. Tails has got to come in at some point. I tell you, that Marsden's a pure dreamboat. I'm with you on that one. He was great on set, too. Total professional from top to bottom. You aren't actually in the movie, you fucking idiot. It's just your character. Oh, really? Then where did I get this rubber band ball? He got you there, Tails. That's not a... <sighs> I'm getting kind of close to the end here. There's still no tails. Whoo! Look how fucking svelte I am. All sex, baby. Those are my signature moves. That was the egg beater, the egg noodle, and the hard boiler. Ooh, and there's my trusty assistant, Gabriel. Getting some screen time. Getting that sad card, baby. Yeah! Dude, what the fuck are you talking about? Oh, I don't know. I just like saying things. It feels good. Ugh. Oh, we get it. You do things fast. Who cares? Where's the booze, the drugs, the loose morals? Okay, this thing's starting to drag on a bit. Might be time to maybe introduce a new character. Oh, okay, that's pretty awesome. I remember doing that. Wait, now you think you were actually in this movie too? Uh-huh. Oh, I know what this sucker needs. Need some goddamn Smash Mouth. Yeah, can we get some crazy town in this? Yeah, music things. Ooh, my red suit, dope. Oh, there you are, Tails. What? That's not me. Yeah, it is. Look, it's a little dumb flying thing. Just, Just like you, you. Jinx! <laughs> <laughs> this is so much fun! I'm 100% on board with this now. Ooh, there's your hot and steamy love scene with the Mars Man. Oh, yeah. Marsden was so great on set. Oh, yeah, consummate, bro. Ah, neither one of you... This fucking sucks, man. I've been a part of this game from day one, and all I do is get shit on over and over... Oh, wait, 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 wait. The last scene after the title. This is it. Best friend, that's me. <laughs> you got replaced by a fucking dog. Oh, fuck this. Fuck you guys. Like and subscribe. Well, I'm sold. Oh, let's give Marsden a call and see what he's up to. Ooh, okay, yeah. Who's Marsden? What? Okay, we're about to react to the new Cats trailer, right, Sonic? Is this what we do now? React to shit on the internet? Wasn't I a god like eight months ago? Yeah, and whose fucking fault was that? Here we go. Still creepy slash sexy as fuck. Some of these cats are naked and some are dressed like coked out magicians. Yeah, pick a lane, am I right? Oh, uh, come on, man. Why are you naked? What? You guys are always naked, the cats are naked, loosen up. So Stringer Bell is dealing catnip to a bunch of strays? Is that what this is? I'm not seeing any genitals on these cats. Where are the genitals? Where are your genitals? <laughs> They're right. Oh my god. Where are my genitals? I just don't get what this is. A horde of stray cats shitting and pissing all over this abandoned burlesque house? You know, I had a cat when I was a kid. Yeah, his name was Gary. He was 45 years old, big scraggly beard, and he'd read me Auto Trader magazines every night until I'd fall asleep. Yeah, Eggman, I don't think that was a... Uh, uh, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! The most deserving cat will be reborn into another life. That's what this is about. New beginnings. A second chance at life. That's what I always wanted. What are you talking about? You rebooted the entire universe. The beauty. Comedy. Adventure. Danger. And intrigue. You okay there, buddy? I've never been happier. Hey, I, I think all of Jason Derulo's lines are just him singing, yeah. <laughs> right, Sonic? These cats have peered into my soul, and I theirs. Have I lived nine lives? Have they lived mine? <laughs> That cat makes an ouchie. I've spent my whole life boozing, snorting, and banging like some poor alley cat. Maybe I'm an alley cat just waiting to be reborn. I want a new life with new dreams, just like those magical cats. Uh, this is super uncomfortable. Yeah, that's saying a lot, considering my ding dong has been inches away from your face this entire time. Sonic? Woo! Ah, 
that's some good catnip. And I am Sonic Kalina, and I am reborn. All right. All right, we're about to watch the trailer for Morbius. Ooh, another Batman origin story. I'm all in. This isn't a Batman movie. Morbius is a vampire. Yeah, just like Batman. Go, watch, go. <sighs> Michael, I've known you since you were a child. Ooh, English accent. That's Alfred. We've already been over this. Not all English people are butlers. Agree to disagree. I don't know why I'm compelled to correct you on this kind of shit, but look, little Brucey Wayne didn't have some kind of disease. That's not him. Little Brucey Wayne was chock full of secrets. You don't know shit. Ooh, we got some shots of the Batcave here. That's, he's in a hospital. He's some kind of doctor. And... Doctors are medicine detectives, and Batman is the world's greatest detective. Oh, a bat! Explain that one, dipshit. Oh my god, Morbius is like a crazy vampire. He's not fucking Batman. It's not even the same universe. Batcopter! Ooh, what do we got? Oh, fuck yeah! A 30 Seconds to Mars biopic starring Leto is Leto? Nah, this is Batman. No, no, this is Morbius. Leto is a vampire. He usually fights Spider-Man. Wait, Leto's a vampire? Well, that would explain so many of his hot tracks. Battle of One. Say, how can Leto be Donald the Joker Ryan, and Batman? Escape. Yes, see, Great you're fucking open. wrong, Hunter, that's how. No, like don't you see, it's genius. Monolith, Nobody would suspect that Regal, Batman is Bruce Wayne Xavier, and the Joker. Valhalla, it's the perfect the crime. The <laughs> Stop naming songs. I heard everything in this movie is totally true and based off of Leto's crazy escapades while on tour. So Leto was squat thrusting a sarcophagus while on tour? Fuck yeah, bro, beautiful lad tour, 06. Oh man, catching apples, hallway leaps. Batman is back and more battier than ever. I, I don't want to do these with you guys anymore. Oh, uh, this must have been when the band played on a battleship and the drummer murdered a team of pirates. That's what the song Love is Madness is about. Did you know that? Yeah, I heard that too. Wait, Sonic, do you think this is a Batman movie or a 30 Seconds to Mars biopic? Hey, if it puts butts in the seats, am I right? That's not, I'm in hell. Ooh, Doctor Who. Yeah, 30 Seconds to Mars' tour bus is a TARDIS that travels through time. Oh, not sure about Batman's mask. Don't like it. Sonic, I'm not gonna yell and scream like I normally do. It, it's that I'm seriously concerned that you suffered major brain trauma and we should make an appointment with Dr. Mario as soon as we- Michael Keaton, Batman, two Batman, one movie, explain that. I, I, uh, maybe this is a Batman movie. Told you, idiot. <laughs> We're about to live our lives a quarter mile at a time. Family. Yeah, these Fast and Furious movies jumped a shark a while ago. Yeah, I heard they jump a shark with a Honda in this one. Family. This is already torture. Let's go. Family. Yeah. I used to live my life a quarter mile at a time. Oh, they live on Hawkeye's farm now. Oh, they're in the MCU. Thanos is back and he's got a Mazda. Calm down. Good God. Although that would be pretty awesome. Your daddy gave me this. Now I'm gonna give it to you. Oh, Dom's kid becomes a vampire hunter. Ooh, maybe he's gonna hunt down Morbius and then- Wait, what am I doing? Underground bunker. Family. Taking out armies with sports cars. Using sports cars as mattresses. The first movie was about stolen DVD players. Cena! You can't see him, Tails. Yeah, can. He's right there on screen. Grow up. Family. So we're up against a master oh, Here comes Tyrese to tell the audience the plot. He should do this in every movie. You're telling me that since you killed Santa Claus, you have to become Santa Claus, or there won't be any more Santa Claus? Who is he? Wait, is that what the next Fast and Furious is about? Yes, I'm in. Jacob is Dom's brother. Oh, family! Family. Is Charlize Theron inside the Matrix? Hey, is that John Cena? I can't see him. We already did that bit. No, I mean, I can't see anything. I was so excited about this trailer that I Tokyo drifted my Eggmobile too hard and detached my retinas. <laughs> Bummer. Yeah, it's gonna be a long road to recovery, but it's a comfort knowing that Tails is there to change my diapers. You're blind. Why are you wearing diapers? <sighs> Never mind. Oh shit, rocket cars! All right, this is absurd. This is just a fucking Wile E. Coyote cartoon now. Don't try and shit on this franchise because you're jealous. Jealous? I sideswiped the bus of old people on the way here. Yeah, you're jealous. No way they survived. Fast and furious? This entire franchise is based off me. You've lost your fucking mind. I can still hear their screams. And as I'm constantly saying, I'm all about keeping it real. Therefore, everything in this movie's realistic. Damn. They got a magnet plane? Realistic? He just said, damn, they got a magnet plane. Yeah, I did that back in 96. And before you ask, I also did whatever stupid fucking thing Dom is about to do with his stupid fucking car. Oh shit, you actually did do that. June 29th, 2004, Gary Busey's 60th birthday party! I guess I was wrong. This franchise is pretty realistic after all. Told ya, 
It just goes to show you that... Oh, what the fuck? They're bringing back Han? He fucking died! <laughs> it's not like they brought him back during the title crawl. Ha! I say we boycott Disney and just watch Marvel stuff instead. Good idea! Tails? Tails? Where'd you go, buddy? Eggman made a boom boom! <laughs> Alright, we watched the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. A psychosexual thriller set in the future that never was. Yeah, and... what? It was a kid's movie. Now, before we get started, there's gonna be some spoilers in this video, so if you haven't seen the movie yet, Mute the video, then hit refresh and do it again a couple more hundred times. Spoiler alert! I loved it at the end when showed up and started and they took off his autoerotic asphyxiation. None of that happened. It happened in my heart, and that's all that matters. Right. Okay, so what did you think of the movie? I mean, sure, it had some flaws, but honestly, it was pretty good. And I'm not talking pretty good for a video game movie good. I'm talking good good. Beastmaster good. It'll have you at the edge of your seat! Thanks. Eggman, yeah, I was pleasantly surprised. It also explained a lot about why you are who you are. Why? Because I watched the closest thing I had to a mother sacrifice herself for me when I was a baby and forced me to live in isolation for 10 years? Yeah, that's fucked up. Nah, it was cool. I got to live in a ditch and had a beanbag chair. A cinematic thrill ride from tip to taint! Eggman, we're not doing cliched movie reviews. This is a thoughtful dive into one of pop culture's most beloved icons. And Sonic. I thought Jim Carrey took a big ol' shit on my character. Completely lacked dignity. Lacked dignity? You don't wear pants. For your information, I don't wear pants because I lost them in a bet with a raccoon. Now if you'll excuse me, I dropped my chicken wings in the toilet. I'm going to go fish them out. I'm with Eggman. Not about the chicken wings. Remind me to throw up later. I mean about Carrie. Who wants to see classic zany madcap Carrie? Nobody! What the fans really want is serious Carrie. Number 23 Carrie. I don't know. I thought Carrie was great as Eggman. Go f*** yourself. I want the Jim Carrey when he's going after an Oscar, where he stays in character during production and is a massive asshole to everybody. Andy, that's enough, Wilfred. I don't like it. I want to do one more. Yeah, asshole likes another asshole. What a surprise. The only thing that bummed me out, besides my character being in it for like 10 seconds, was all the product placement. Olive Garden, Amazon, a payphone? Why can't art just be art? Totally agree. By the way, this review is brought to you by Big Blue Dick Pills. They're for your dick. Yeah, this movie will take your breath away. A triumph that can't be missed. <laughs> Thunderhead, we already told Hey man, we're not doing cliched movie reviews. What's the movie? Okay, let's wrap this up. All in all, it's a good kids movie, and I'm glad the adult fans got what they wanted. Which caused a bunch of VFX artists to work insane hours only to have everyone get laid off and the studio shut down once the movie was finished. Hope it was worth it. Ugh, the toilet chicken wings tasted a bit off. Probably should have cooked them first. <laughs> oh yeah! I've been looking forward to doing this one for a while. I've got the need, the need for... Constant attention? Jesus. For speed, asshole. I have the need for speed. I don't have any speed. I got a ton of cold medicine, though. I don't know if that helps. <sighs> We're reacting to Top Gun Maverick, dipshit. I might be addicted to cold medicine. Your instructor is one of the finest... Still can't believe there's a sequel to the greatest movie ever made! Top Gun, the greatest movie? Wrong. It's Grease 3, Parabellum. Dude, dude. Dude, Top Gun's got everything. Speed, Kenny Loggins, cool pilot nicknames, shirtless dudes, dead sidekicks, and Tom mother Cruise. I based my entire personality on Maverick. I don't know. Top Gun always seemed like a trailer for the military-industrial complex. Just for that, your pilot nickname is Dr. Diaper Shit. Doctor, what? And mine is Laser Sex. You're an idiot, Sonic. Uh-uh. Laser Sex. Oh, shit! Is that Goose? No, Goose is dead. Aw, oh, you're like my Goose. Maybe one day you'll have an ejector seat malfunction and die, too. Haha, <laughs> very funny. Seriously, though, I'm not your goose, right? <gasps> oh, no! Tom Cruise got old! Yeah, right? I thought one of his Scientology powers was infinite youth. Ah, ooh, what porno is this? It's not porno. It's Top Gun 2. What? They made a sequel to my favorite porno! You think Top Gun is a porno? Uh, yeah, goose. Uh, no, no, no. Dr. Diaper shit. No, my name is Goose. It's, it's Tails. It's definitely Tails. It's not, it's not Goose. I'm not, I'm not Goose. <sighs> what I wouldn't give to be that greased up volleyball. Hey, Dr. Dipshit, look! They brought back Goose! That's you! It's Dr. Diaper shit. Why am I correcting? <sighs> I'm not Goose. I think that's Goose's kid. He inherited his dad's mustache. Woohoo! They're gonna sing in a bar! I can't wait to smash my baddie to this one! Maybe I am Goose. Destined to die at the hands of an egomaniac. Which egomaniac you talking about? Me or Sonic? Maybe we'll both murder you. That'd be neat. Wait, is Maverick gonna systematically murder every member of Goose's family? Because I'm on board with that. 
Oh my god, shirtless beach football! Get out, 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 out! Eggman needs the room! Go, 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 Hey everybody, we're all still quarantined over here, so we decided to head over to Netflix. Hell yeah, we reviewed Tiger King, a hilarious show about wacky Joe Exotic and his endless cast of zany pals. I loved every second of it. Ugh, I f***ing hated every second of it. It's just a bunch of sociopathic criminals who abuse animals for money. Whatever. I found Tiger King to be an incredibly uplifting and inspirational story that tugs on the old heartstrings. In this day and age where hope is at a scarce minimum, Tiger King is the sunlight that parts through the clouds and lights up our faces. Bullshit! You only liked it because you finally found bigger assholes than you! Damn right! You know how hard that is? I was on the cover of Hey Asshole Cut the Shit magazine for ten straight years! I hate to say it, but I think you're right. I mean, even the good tiger person, Carol Baskin, probably definitely murdered her husband. Hell, the dude they based f***ing Scarface on was the most likable guy in the show. Who would have thought so many narcissistic, pansexual, gun-toting, cult-having felons would be so into animals? Mmm, you rang? We're talking about Tiger King. Did you see it? I didn't need to see it. I used to run with that whole crew at the Evil Animal Collectors Convention down in Destin, Florida. Good times, man. Good times. Hey, did they ever catch that tiger that ate Carol's husband? Wait, so Carol did kill her husband? Oh, no, no, no. Carol's husband used to play high-stakes gin rummy with a group of rough-and-tumble tigers, and one night he lost so big that the only way he could pay the tiger back was to let the tiger eat him. None of that happened, did it? Probably not. I'm not a trustworthy egg. Whose sex cult would you rather be married into? Joe Exotics or Doc Antles? I'm gonna go ahead and mute this conversation. Well, I spent time with both cults, so if I had to pick, it would be Joe, hands down. I mean, sure, Joe's a power-hungry meth addict that could care less if you lived or died, but Doc had a soul patch. Ugh, no thank you. You guys done? Yeah, I caught a terrible glimpse into Eggman's past. Final thoughts on Tiger King? Yeah, I'm gonna track down every disgusting human being in the show and make sure they get eaten by tigers. So what do we do now? I'm done for the day. It's nap time. Okay, it's uh, just me. I guess I can sing the Tiger King theme song. <clears throat> Tiger King, we're all a bunch of crazy Tiger Kings. Oh my God. Have you been living here the whole time? Oh my God. Hey, so it's been a while since we've done a Sonic Reacts, but nothing has come out, like at all. Yeah, I've just been watching old episodes of Mr. Belvedere. Which is good, because today we're reviewing every single episode of Mr. Belvedere. Nobody wants that. Today we're reviewing the hit Broadway musical slash movie, Hamilton. I'm just glad we're finally reviewing something classy. It was like I was whisked away and dropped into the front row. Yeah, tell me about it. I watched it on the toilet. Overall, I was really impressed with Hamilton. Uh, seriously? Wow, uh, what was your favorite part? The writing? The music? The choreography? Nah, none of that. I never knew the Founding Fathers were all dope rappers. God damn it. I mean, I know America was founded 650,000 years ago, so I just figured a bunch of old white dudes started it. Boy, was I wrong. That dude Hercules Mulligan was like DMX. Y'all gonna make me lose my mind up in here, up in here. All right, there's a lot to unpack with everything you just said. They cast ethnically diverse actors to play those parts because the Founding Fathers were all old white dudes. It was symbolic. That doesn't sound right. You don't sound right. I will say the gunfights sucked though. Where was the slow-mo, the gun foo, the flying doves? They should have got John Woo to direct this. This was a mistake doing this and knowing you and talking to you ever is a mistake. No, it was cool. I learned a lot about how a bill becomes a law or whatever. Now let's get to my three hour Belvedere review about the episode where Wesley's friend got AIDS. Did I hear my name? Sonic said AIDS. Tomato, tomato. What? We're reviewing him. While Hamilton the character is a progressive lion, it's not accurate to portray him as such. In fact, many of the problems we deal with in our country, unregulated capitalism and predatory bank lending, can be traced back to Hamilton's plan to reorganize the national debt during the United States' nascent years. Uh, sure, Hamilton wanted economic prosperity for all, but as we all know, it is no means certain that the forceful imposition of the mere institutional trappings of an advanced capitalist economy actually promotes economic growth. Yeah. I, Eggman, I, I didn't expect that. I guess I underestimated your- Plus, I would have grown three dicks so I could bone all three sisters at once. I think you mean two dicks. You already got the one. Sure, let's go with that. Wow, learning a lot today. Okay, Sonic, any last thoughts? My name is Sonic, and I'm here to say that Mr. Belvedere once sat on his balls. Yep, Google it. Yeah, learn something about history for once. Hiya, champ. How's it going? Well, I got eight, but other than that, I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> Hey, what's up? We're back and we're here to react to the new The Batman movie. Affleck Batman? Nope. Bale Batman? No. Adam West Batman? <gasps> Ghost Batman? No, it's a new living The Batman. Just shut up and watch. 
Man, remember when Batman was a fun sex swinger with rock hard nipples and hung out with Prince? You're kind of melding a bunch together there. Now every Batman is, oh, boo hoo, I saw my parents get murdered when I was little and now I'm super moody. Grow up, Batman. Grow up and dance. Oh, <laughs> this is moody as hell. And finally, Batman's gonna use his detective skills instead of just punching a bunch of random henchmen. I'm not buying it. Release the Snyder Cut! Ah, uh, no. You pieces of dog shit have been holding back the Roy Snyder Cut far too long. Finally, the loyal fans can watch Sequest DSV as it was meant to be. Now I learned there was a secret chord that David played. What the hell is this? It's the Snyder Cut trailer for the Justice League movie. Which Batman is this one? Kilmer? No. Clooney? No. Affleck? No. I mean, no. yes. Hey, this just looks like the regular movie, except it's a square instead of a rectangle. Great. As soon as I was able to afford a rectangle TV, Zack Snyder flipped the script and brings back square movies. Hashtag release the rectangle cut. You didn't get a new TV, you just turned poster sideways. I don't think it's fair he's using Hallelujah in the trailer. That song makes any trailer better. You can put that song in a fucking Pauly Shore trailer and it'll win an Oscar. Uh, can we watch that movie instead? Let's make it happen. Release, Release the, the Polly cut. cut! Release, Release the, the Polly cut. cut! And now, Tails, this is when you say you hate us, or the idea is dumb, or whatever. No, actually, I like it. Yeah! Release the Polly Cut! Come on, guys! Release the Polly Cut! Pound sign! Release the Polly Cut! Ooh, I don't like it when Tails agrees with things. Bad taste in my mouth. Very off-putting. This whole thing feels like a waste of time now. Yeah, thanks for nothing, Tails. <laughs> Hey, this is Mike from Lowbrow. Thanks for watching our video, and be sure to click like and subscribe. Maybe stick around and watch all our other funny videos, and ooh, look at that shiny new Patreon button in the middle. Maybe uh, see what that's all about.